All right, so to kick it off, we last wrote to you in summer of 2021. It's been a while. Um, you've obviously come a long way since then, but what would you say is the number one st- way you've grown and the number one thing you've learned in that time? Ooh, I've learned a lot. I think um, being blessed with the opportunity to come early to UConn definitely helped me learn a lot and play under great players and just practice with great players for half a year. And um, I think really just everything. I've learned everything, whether that's physicality, how to improve offensively, reading cuts, reading defenders. But uh, defensively, I feel like I've improved a lot too. And then um, more importantly, my body. I think shaping out my body and losing that high school fat that I had in 2021 um, definitely helped me. For sure. And when we last spoke, you said that you thought your strongest uh, skill was your versatility. Yeah. Uh, would you still say the same, or is there something that you think that has kind of become your main thing now? I think I think it's the same. I think uh, definitely my shooting is definitely what's impressive, and I think that helps our team out with spacing. But now, I think this season I've gotten a lot more comfortable reading closeouts like I would in high school and just being able to finish at the rim as well. So um, I definitely say my shooting has definitely stuck out more, but um, I think it's still the same versatility. You had, I don't know if you know this, but the only 50-40-90 season this year. Uh, you know, 50 percent from the field, 4% from three, and 90 from the line. What went into that? How did you, do you feel like you've grown as a shooter? Is it a confidence thing? What went into this? I think really, I think it's a confidence thing, just knowing that if I'm open, I got to shoot the ball. And then um, I think it's just the work that I put into. I put in a lot of work and just having a lot of trust in my shot. I think it's great call. And then um, I have a camp special with three books that will be in the backfield. Stan, you mentioned kind of how you continue to add that that versatile mindset and try to impact it in and and where does that come from? How you, what do you attribute that? I think really it's just a lot of film study, just reading how defenders would guard me. Whether I mean we just played St. John's, so watching the first time we played St. John's on how they would guard me, which way they'd close out, and then um. Just realize you can't just be a one-dimensional player. If I'm just a catch and shoot out there, then um, it's easier for teams to guard. So um, really focusing on that and how teams guard me, but then at the same time, just knowing that, um, you know, just trying to approach the games differently to where I could help my team with, and whether that's not scoring, just getting on the glass or making big plays defensively. What do you think, uh, I guess, how can you speak to the importance of film study and, and how you kind of learn to do that? Because that's in the fire skills, not something everyone knows how to do or everyone automatically does. Yeah, I think it's, I really learned it just from being here. I think the way that Coach Hurley emphasizes film study, I think that's what makes it critical. And I try to look for, you know, similar mistakes or similar things that I did in like film sessions in front of the whole team of by myself and just continue to slow down plays and really I think it's a, I don't know if it's a skill but I think anybody could you know really just you just gotta hold yourself accountable Absolutely. now folks on where we are now we're here at Madison Square Garden yeah uh, you guys had a great run so far you know going over the bio tomorrow what does it mean to play like you're on this stage yeah. um it means everything I think just having the opportunity to cut down nets is special and um just having this has been a goal of ours since the beginning of the year since June so I'm um, really looking forward to having the opportunity of that um so just a couple more questions I mean winning this tomorrow is no. a huge of course you guys obviously have already been to the very top of college basketball please got to what we learned from last year's run and how you think that should apply to this year yeah, just having the championship toughness that we have, whether we go down big, like we kind of have a slow start, and um, just staying together, I think, is the most important thing. Just the championship toughness and always staying together. And just, you know, we're playing great teams now this late in the year, so they're going to go on their runs, we're going to go on our runs, as long as we just stay together and um, continue to do what the coaches preach. And, you know, whether it was last year or this year, you played on the highest stage. I know that the focus is on winning, of course, but what do you feel like you're showing for NBA scouts looking at you for the just a winning player. I think NBA scouts, they could judge me how they want, whether that's off my shot defensively. They could judge me. They, they're the experts. They could judge my game, however. But I think more importantly, just my winning, my pedigree that I bring to, you know, the UConn. I think having won the last year championship and now having been successful this year, then I think it's just winning. And then I'll let them judge my game and let them do everything besides that. But right now, just focus on, you know, having the opportunity to win well. For sure. Can you speak to your role off the court as a, as a leader? Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest things I'm continuing to work on. I think that's something that the coaches really harp on for me. And um, 
just using the experience that I had last year and just being under such great leaders like Andre, Adama, Tyrese, RJ, all of them, just knowing how much they taught me is something I'm trying to pass down to the freshmen. I mean, they're young. Playing in college is hard enough, but playing for Coach Hurley is just a whole nother level. So um, it's tough and just continue to keep their confidence high and just knowing that they're teaching them the right stuff. I saw pointed two more things. One is yesterday he would play against Dustin Fly, uh he fellow with Precious play. Can you speak to what it means? I any game you play, you probably see someone that you either played with or against and yeah. Zach or A yeah. you what does it mean to be seeing yeah. these guys year after year, you're growing, they're growing? How is that kind of different impact your mindset? What does yeah. that mean? It means a lot. I think the mindset towards it, when we get on the court, I don't care who it is. We're we're gonna help. We're just going to go out there and play. And then, um, I mean, for Desmond, I got, it was special just from, you know, we spent a lot of time AU-wise, and he's such a terrific player. And I think he was very underappreciated in high school, and now you definitely see him blossom into the star that he is today. And then uh, that's the same with the other guys. I mean, in Nepsack, there's so many great players, not just from New England, but across the country that come in and play in the best league, and I think in high school. So um, just seeing them across the court, um, it's special. It's just a pedigree to how they are as players and just myself and the leagues that we played in. Then last question, what's one thing that you feel like not many people have about you and you want to make sure that they're not all sour? Um, I don't know. I think I just love basketball so much. I feel like people know that already, but um, I feel like I'm two different people, which off the court and very laid back, chill, and just, you know, try to, you know, engage with my teammates. But on the court, I feel like I'm just doing so dialed in and focused on what, you know, just trying to win no matter what.